The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, along with the Denry Hospital, partnered with Faces of Development to provide a unique opportunity for participants of the STEAM summer program. The health fair held at the Clendon Mason Memorial Secondary School offered free health screenings and a wealth of health-related information to young participants and local residents. The events brought together various departments from the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs who set up informative booths and demonstration areas. They engaged the attendees with interactive question and answer sessions, allowing young participants to deepen their understanding of health and wellness topics. These sessions covered a range of subjects from nutrition and hygiene to mental health awareness. Dr. Zeister Edmund, Vice President of Faces of Development, shared more details of the summer program. Well, Faces of Development is a community group and we are focused on assisting with community problems. We work in, we work in collaboration with other community groups and other agencies including ministerial um, agencies. Um, we are focused on youth development. We are also focused on com community development and creating safe spaces for children and empowering communities. Um, this summer camp is actually one activity hosted by Faces of Development and it has been running for about four years now. Uh, so it's four years of a summer camp but it's actually three years of a STEAM summer camp. So for the last three years we've been managing a camp that focuses on science, technology, engineering, arts and maths. Principal Nursing Officer of the Denry Hospital, Yolanda Alcindor, emphasized the initiative's significance by outlining the key health topics covered. She highlighted the critical importance of health awareness and education across all stages of life, underscoring the event's role in promoting lifelong wellness. Basically, it's health information. So the children are ages from 8 to 15 years, and we've invited the general public. We'll have health education on nutrition. We have environmental health on the importance of vector control and how to store water and so on. Dental health is here, our dental unit from Denry Hospital, and they will be focusing on dental hygiene, proper brushing techniques, how to prevent dental decays. We also invited substance abuse because we know that's a problem within the community and the children can be exposed very early, so they know the importance of the dangers of certain substances and how to avoid engaging. We have a um, Bureau of Health Education that will be providing general education with an emphasis on good touch, bad touch. And also we partnered with the Taiwan Technical Mission on the Metabolic um, Syndrome um, program and they will be ed doing education on chronic non-communicable diseases prevention. At the health fair, the Substance Abuse Secretariat was among the participating departments, seizing the opportunity to educate and inform young attendees about the dangers of substance abuse. Our main focus today is uh, the dangers of substances and the effects on the bodies of the young children that are part of this program. Um, part of our mandate as substance abuse is to increase the awareness and knowledge as it relates to drug trends that we are experiencing here on our island and today we are especially focusing on things like cannabis alcohol we have known for a long time that um, our island is one of the one of the countries in our region that we see the introduction of alcohol at a very young age um, our studies have shown that it's about 10 years our students use, start using alcohol. The collaboration with Faces of Development in the Denry Hospital underscores the importance of community partnerships in promoting health and wellness, particularly among the youth. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs continues to prioritize such outreach programs aiming to foster a healthier, more informed community. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Onika McCoy.